everyone, it's Wednesday Warriors, and it's me, Arielle. And this week, I'm going to be talking about your strengths. Everyone has them. Recognizing your strengths is important because once you can recognize them, you can build on them. And building on your strengths is very important to succeed in recovery, succeed in life, and be a happier, well-adjusted person. Strengths are part of what make us who we are. Sometimes the best way that you can recognize your strengths is to make a list of all the things you like to do. And often, when you list all the things you like to do, you can go through the list and pick out all of the things that you're good at. And normally, we are good at a lot of things we like to do. So then when you've selected all the things that you're good at, you can ask yourself, is this one of my strengths? And chances are it probably is. And maybe you wouldn't even have considered it a strength because it's either so basic or so commonplace in your opinion. But I guarantee you, not everyone can do the things that you can do and not everyone has the same strengths. One of the things about strengths and listing your strengths and recognizing your strengths is that people tend to get uncomfortable when they start to talk about their own strengths. They start to sort of feel like, I don't think I should be talking about all the things I'm great at because that makes me conceited or that makes me full of myself. And that's not true. Unfortunately, we live in a society, in a world, in which it's more acceptable for people to berate themselves or to criticize themselves than it is for them to uplift themselves and celebrate their strengths. And it is one of the biggest beefs I have with society today because kids grow up, and in my opinion, especially, you know, girls and women grow up, and they think that what's expected of them is for to say, oh, yeah, I know, I don't really look as good as I wanted to in this outfit, or my thighs look fat in this. Um, and they kind of, you know, offhandedly criticize themselves, and it's because they've been conditioned. Kids think that they're supposed to say these things, and what's actually worse is that they think if they say, wow, I'm so proud of myself for the great grade I just got on that test, or they say, I think my hair actually looks cute today, that they're somehow doing something wrong and they will be seen poorly in the eyes of their peers. And the reason they think that it's wrong and conceited for them to actually celebrate something good about themselves is because they don't understand the concept of self-love. And I've asked young people if they've heard of the term self-love and most people have heard of it some people maybe knew what it meant a lot of people really didn't and I explain self-love as the love of yourself it's not the same as being arrogant or conceited it means caring for yourself taking responsibility for yourself respecting yourself and learning yourself and I always add one more really important thing and that is celebrating yourself when someone tells you negative things, you start to believe them. We all know that. And if you start to tell yourself positive things, you start to believe those too. But it has to start with you. All of your validation can't come from other people because you'll always be in a bad position and you'll always be looking to others for how you feel about yourself. And that's not a good place to be because you may not always be surrounded with people who will be supportive and who will help you celebrate your strengths. Compliments and positive reinforcement just don't come naturally in our society. And it's sad, but... It means that being kind to ourselves with what we say to ourselves is kind of like a foreign concept and it's actually even more important that we do this because of the society that we live in. And the more we do this and the more we teach people who are younger than us to do this, the more we will actually be changing society. And for me, that's a huge goal. I really encourage you to be brave and celebrate your strengths and celebrate them out loud and write them down because they aren't things that we should be forgetting. Are you a good listener? Are you good at math? Are you good at logic? Are you good at all that common sense stuff? Or maybe you're more creative and that's a strength. Maybe you can think outside of the box. Maybe you're a good problem solver. 
Maybe you are really good in crisis situations and you're someone that people can look to for guidance and to calm things down. Maybe you're good at teaching. Are you a good cook? Are you a great writer? Do you love to do art, dance, music? Are you good at supporting people? Are you a caregiver? Are you a good speaker? Are you good at doing hair, makeup? Are you good with children? Are you good at languages? Are you great at driving? Are you good at research? Are you altruistic? Are you funny? Pick yourself apart a little bit and pull out all the good stuff. It's easy for you to go through all of the things that you really genuinely love about someone else. Do it about yourself. Do it now. There are so many strengths that exist and so many strengths that you have. You have to look for them. You have to find them. And once you find them, you can't forget them.